Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We are coming to you live here from the PhD Speed Gaming Expo. As usual, I'm Matt, and I'm joined here with Jason from PlayFusion. Jason, how are you doing today? Good, man. How are you? Good, good. I'm just making sure your phone doesn't fall asleep uh, on me right, right now. <laughs> uh, so, Jason, first and foremost, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing great, man. Uh, having a good time with the show. Uh, retailers are awesome. PhD is a great host as usual. Absolutely. So, and I'm happy to be talking to you guys like like normal. So uh, I see a couple boxes, a couple cards on the table, and I got oh, your yeah. cell phone over here. I'm holding that hostage. That's cool. Too. That's cool. Uh, it's like I'm in school again. <laughs> exactly. Right. I'll get it back when I leave. So, uh, what have you brought to show off to us today? All right. So I have brought our Warhammer Champions TCG. Uh, reason there's a few boxes out here is because there are three expansions that are out in the wild. And looks like we have our set one, set two, and the recent re release. Let me make sure. Yes, it's the other way around, set one, two, and three. Um, and then we have the Warband Pack, which is a supplemental skew that kind of goes in between, keeps uh, people interested in the game, and it's cards you can add to your deck and things like that. Very cool. So talk to me a little bit. Uh, for those of uh, our, our viewers here that haven't seen uh, Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions, what kind of game are we looking at here? I know you said it's a TCG. Uh, we showed it off briefly at uh, PAX Unplugged this past year. Yep. We did have a uh, setup for people to do some demos yep. of it. Uh, but just give me a rundown on what we're looking at. Sure. So it's a Warhammer Champions is a traditional trading card game. It's got the traditional booster pack model. Um, there's a couple things that make it incredibly unique. One, there's some really interesting game mechanics that play with rotating cards and such. Mm -hmm. Very akin to its, uh, I call it a distant cousin, which is Light Seekers, also one of our games. Um, and it gives it a really interesting gameplay feel. But I, I do think one of the big things that people gravitate to for our game is the fact that we also have a digital app. And the digital app is very, very unique that's in the why fact I that. You have your cell phone, right? That's right. <laughs> there you go. Not only does it allow someone to download the game for free, there's no barrier of entry. Um, they can play, they can check out the cards, they can do all kinds of different things. They can play it on mobile, uh, iOS, Android, Steam, Nintendo Switch. Ooh. It's everywhere. All the accounts are connected, so everything you have is all is on every platform. Now, here's the really interesting and, quite frankly, unique part that nobody else is doing but play Fusion. Mm -hmm. I have some cards here. Every single one of our cards is unique. Okay, they okay. all have a code printed on the card, and the reason this is really important is because any player who decides to go into a hobby store to buy a pack of cards, not only can they build a deck with them and they can do you know, whatever they're doing, think of it in the scenario of someone spends you know, four or five, six hundred dollars $600 on uh, booster boxes to build like, the perfect deck to go play in any of our OP events. Right. Well, when they go and download the app, they don't have to rebuy all those cards. What they can do is they can scan every single card in their collection and since each into one's unique. Right. Uh. Since everyone's unique, they can all get scanned into the app. So you have the you have your collection not only in your physical deck, you have it in your digital deck. That's it's awesome. Killer man. That's Killer. really cool. Because, yeah, I know a lot of the companies that do have the uh, the companion apps or the standalone right. apps don't link at all. And it's right. it's quite frustrating. If you build up a presence in one of them, right. uh, then you'd have to kind of redo all of your efforts sure. to get it in the other and one. And you so got to get lucky and you got to hope. you know. And there's, exactly. a, there's a big financial investment there, too. Oh, absolutely. So we try to ease the burden on uh, not only the player, but we try to enhance it for the hobby store owner. Gra so not what... And, I've never seen a hobby store owner push a digital game because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's you know yeah. kind of against the grain. Um, however, they they encourage people to download ours for this reason because you know players will come back in and buy cards because they want to add them to their digital release like that. Hundred percent, very cool. Yeah. So um, I also just wanted to mention that in doing so, when you're buying all these physical cards, um, we have relaunched our organized play programs. Mm -hmm. And literally starting this weekend, this Saturday in Albany, or um, yeah, I think it's Albany, right? Uh, Millennium Games, uh, Travis Severance is the owner. He's a very popular guy at this show. Um, they are kicking off our very first city champs. And the reason that's important is PlayFusion just announced we've invested $100,000 into an organized play prize pool. Well, that's a nice prize pool right there. It it doesn't suck. 
<laughs> <laughs> That's one way to put it. It doesn't suck. Um, so starting at this event uh, at Millennium Games, there's going. this is the first time we're uh, paying money for Warhammer prizes. Mm-hmm. And so there's going to be 12 of those city, champion, uh, city championship events across North America between now and August, leading up to our set four of Warhammer. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's also going to be a Trial of Champions game day event that's going to be held uh, globally on June 8th and 9th in hundreds of stores. Very cool. You know, across the, between the UK, you know, we're, we're located in the UK, we're located here. Um, so we have teams working on both sides of the world. It's pretty impressive. Um, that's so, logistically, that's got to be pretty rough to uh, to organize all of that to happen within a two day time frame like that. Also true, also true. And my days start really early because <laughs> I'm in California and they're in the UK. Oh yeah. Um, so we're doing that on June eighth and 9th. and then we have a league play system where anybody can go in and play kind of a casual uh, event. It's called Blood and Glory, mm-hmm. and that's our kind of grassroots at the hobby store. Go in, learn to play that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of different touch points for players, and um, a lot of different ways to win money. Culminating at Gen Con, where we're giving away twenty thousand dollars. We're doing a twenty k, man. That's a nice one, right yeah, there. So uh, I'm curious to see how that plays out. Going to so, get our judges on point. These organized play events, these are all uh, physical cards that we'll, they'll be using yes. for that? Or is there any way for people to get in with the, uh, the digital app as well? So for now, we're doing it all physical play. Mm-hmm. However, we are in the early stages of testing out some pretty cool stuff with like Store v. Store, maybe in the digital space. Ooh, that's cool. Trying to get some bragging rights for stores to do a thing. I yeah. like that. Yeah, so um, we have a lot of things coming. And lastly, I just want to point out that we also, in addition to our gameplay app, we have what is called the Play Fusion Companion app. Mm-hmm. And the Companion app is amazing. It is literally a one-stop shop for both players and retailers to get everything out of organized play that we have to offer. So for retailers, they can download the app. They have um, the ability to set up an event immediately in their store. Players, if they have the app, also free, by the way, if they have the app, they can look for tournaments in their area. They can sign up for the event through the app. They can pay for it through the app if there's a charge. Oh, so you made it easy for everyone. We made it easy. That's good. I mean, you made it easy for me to go and win that $20,000 prize. Hey, man, more power to you. (laughs) More power to you. Um, If you are at a table during an event and you need to call a table judge, Hit the app. Oh, really? Table judge comes over. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Th- th- this raising your hand nonsense? That's too much work. That's done. Let me pull out a that's phone. Done. Hit a button. Hit a button. Uh, it's, it's all there. And there's, there's a lot more functionality there as well. But we are trying to make it as easy as possible. And quite frankly, um, let's move away from the paper and pencil age of, of scorekeeping and tournament. Let's, let's use the uh, little supercomputers we have in our pockets. I mean, that makes sense, and it's a, it's a great way of taking an analog medium of, you know, board games, trading card games, right. something like that, and bringing in the digital utilities that exist these days without corrupting the game itself. Right. And just using right. them as an aid, as they should be. I mean, how many times have, you know, uh, we've all played in tournaments, right? Mm-hmm. And tournaments go for a long time, eight hours, ten hours. How many times have you stepped out to get a bite to eat because there's no lunch breaks? You know, you go to the bathroom, and then someone calls, like, your name for a table thing or something, and you're just not there. Boom. With the app, you just get the notification. Boom. Get back your table five. It gives you your pairings. It tells you where you're sitting. You go. You sit right down. It's the hotness. Making it easy on the people, too. It makes a lot of sense. That's how we roll, man. I like it. Jason... What else is going on uh, with Play Fusion that you want to talk to us about? Oh, my God. There's a lot of stuff coming down the pipe, um, most of which I can't speak about right now because we're not at the point where we can do announcements, but they are coming. So I would say Gen Con is going to be a big platform for us this year. We are Not only is it our one-year anniversary of Warhammer Champions, um, we are doing some pretty big blowout events aside from the 20K. Um, we are doing a lot more player experiences uh, to come in and just kind of, we want players to be around us and hanging out and enjoying what Play Fusion has to offer. There'll be announcements, and this is going through the whole show. We've kind of, we're going to do something different this year than we did last year as opposed from like the standard booth kind of setup. We're doing more of a pretty cool environment atmosphere type thing. Interesting. I'm excited to come check that out. You will have to. We'll do the, we, we definitely want to have you guys there. 
Fantastic. Jason, where can our viewers go to find out more information about uh, Warhammer Champions and everything else going on at Play Fusion? You almost said it right there, WarhammerChampions.com. I like it. Yeah. All right, Jason, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, man. Really do appreciate it. Always and a pleasure. Thank all of you for watching at home. We're going to take a brief intermission right now, but we'll be back in just a few minutes to continue our coverage here from the PhD Speed Gaming Expo. As usual, I'm Matt. Have a good one, everyone.